started doing some uh, some worship at our local churches, and uh, we decided we needed a, you know, a name for the band that we wanted to. Uh, have, it, have some, like a cool name, but um, have it mean something too. And that word hero has been used a lot, and people are wondering, you know, what what a hero is. And it's kind of pinpointing exactly what our life is based around. That you know, it's the hero of our hearts is, is uh, you know, what Jesus did for us on the cross. So that's kind of where the name came from. The four of us grew up in, the, in, a, in a pretty close area of each other, around about a town called Huntington, West Virginia. The school we went to was a really, really conservative Christian school. You know, they didn't uh, really agree with Christian rock and rock music. And, uh, or even worship, really. And they had a had a problem with us, you know, playing Christian rock, you know, because we, we, you know, we kind of made it a little heavier. They didn't quite see eye to eye on some of the new, you know, rock and roll music, you know, the crazy guys, the absolute insane stuff like Michael W. Smith. That was just, that was that was crazy. As I was a senior, and uh, we really started to pick up some steam, and the, the local newspaper had done a couple stories on us, and the school had kind of learned about it, and the kids that, that we went to school with were starting to get excited for us and starting to rumble a little bit. The school board actually met about the band and, and brought, and brought uh, myself and the drummer that was with us at the time. We were seniors, and they asked us to stop playing. They wanted us to bring the website offline and have, you know, kind of kind of stop stop playing worship or music or anything in the churches or whatever until after we graduated, or else they were going to expel us and we weren't going to get our diplomas. So I think the day after we graduated, we had a show in town, and every kid in the round came out to, to see it, so it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Under open skies, you whisper. It comes as no surprise to me. Oh, thunder echoes out this reminder. How beautiful you are to me. We've had the opportunity uh, through the time that we've been together to uh, to do different weekend retreats where we'll get three days to spend and get to know kids, or even sometimes like throughout summers we'll get. We'll have a whole week to get to know these kids. We like to be very accessible for kids, so we love it when kids come to us and talk to us just about their lives and their hearts and what's going on. We've had quite a few opportunities where kids have just come up to us and open up and they just pour out their hearts to us with so many stories of how, you know, just so many things have gone wrong in their lives and they just don't know where to turn and they don't they don't understand why things have happened. That was kind of like the, the, light, the light bulb coming on for us, for us to... Like this is it, you know. To, a, a night concert's great, and you try to meet as many people as you can, and try to be encouraging as, as often as you can. But uh, really, to be able to pour in a little bit more and, and uh, to, to develop that that quick friendship, I think is is, uh, is a cool thing. Uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, this album is really uh, it's it's been kind of cool because it's all tied together. We feel. Um, the, the, the whole concept of what we really we really like to harp on with kids is discovering what their talent, their their ability, their gift is, what their purpose is. Even though we feel invincible, we feel like we're going to live forever. Um, you know, we're not promised 70 or 80 or 90 years. I think that's something we try to capture in the album. Is this is the moment, this is the time, and to, to make no mistakes about it, that today we're going to make what tomorrow is going to be. Angel was a friend of ours that, uh, earlier this year while we were actually in the studio. She passed away um, in, a, in a fire that was in our hometown, and it, it obviously knocked, a, knocked the community off its feet a little bit, and, and us as a band as well. But that song came from more of a celebration outlook that so, so many people look at a tragedy like that and then look at us as Christians and go, yeah, now what? Where was your God? You know, How could you possibly explain that? How could that make sense? How can you swallow that? So, but to, to look at Angel's life and the things that that she wrote and the things that she lived, um, just if, if nothing else, was in addition to my life to realize that uh, we do have purpose, and even if something we can't explain here at this moment in time, that to realize that even if you try, even with a little bit of effort, you can see that her life of 17 years is going to impact that many more people. I'm one of them. We don't have a whole lot of time. Whether it's 17 years or whether it's 70, it's still an insignificant amount. The Bible calls it, you know, our life is a vapor. You've got today, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to live your life? What is, it, what is the impact you're going to make? The reason that I do what I do and I, I feel like we have been called to do what we do is the impact that we're able to have on kids' lives. I mean, but the, the thought of being being able to portray or be a hero in someone's life, I mean, when you ask the question of what is a hero, it, it could be just, just being a presence in their life that, you know, shows them what is the true light, which is Jesus. We would call ourselves Christians, being Christ-like, 
uh, as he is our hero for, for saving us and for the thing he, for what he did for us on the cross, we can in turn be a, a small hero, uh, Christ-like, uh, to those, you know, our, fin our friends and our family right around us and be a hero to them as well. We have kids coming up to us telling us, you know, these things have really changed my life and you guys are a serious, you know, inspiration to me. That's the biggest and best blessing out of what we do. That's a wrap. We're cutting. Cut it.